Tulsa in the past? Uh, they've always been a good team from my three years at SMU. They've all been really good, really well coached. Uh, I know them well. Two of the guys I played with like in the summer. So it'll be a good matchup. It'll be a good game for sure. Which guys were those? And did, were they from Dallas? And that's how you end up playing? No, Kansas City when I played AAU basketball, okay. Jariah Horn and uh, Jackson. So Darren Jackson. So we've been really good friends ever since. So it's going to be fun to be able to see those guys this did, Saturday. So you played AAU ball in high school. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, they played on our younger team. So, Jimmy, what did you think about the way you guys kind of battled with Charles Massey? I know you kind of got a, got a chance to kind of mix it up with him in the interior. Um, I think it was good for us. It was a good learning experience. We couldn't didn't come out with the what we wanted to at the end of the game. Couldn't come out with the win, but we learned a lot. Uh, was able to come out, practice the things we need to do better this week in practice. I feel like we got a lot better this week so being able to go out there and showcase everything we've been working on this Saturday is a big opportunity for us. Um I like that's one of the positives from the game that we had a guy get going. He's starting to feel confident. Shots starting to fall a lot more from we're gonna need that pushing on towards the end of the season especially uh, Saturday with just how Tulsa plays. They play some zone, play some man so having another guy that's Feeling it, stretching out the defense is going to help us a lot. I know the three, real, three is uh, not really in your game, but you haven't attempted any. Is that kind of by design that hey, I just don't want to shoot threes, or is that more about they just haven't really come your way? Or I think it's more so the fit of the team, and then you just take what the defense gives you. If I can get to my shot every time that I'm comfortable with, there's no point for me to go out there and force up a shot I'm not comfortable with. But if it's there, I'll take it. But when you have a lot of three-point shooters that can stretch out the floor, you all, you want everybody to come and play to their strength. And then if teams sort of force you to do other things, you take what they give you. It seems like the, the mid-range shot's kind of a lost start. Everybody wants to dunk or shoot a three, but you're really deadly for that mid-range jumper. Um, uh, what, what makes you so good at that? And you, is that something you take a lot of pride in? Um, I think it's a unique part of my game. I have to give a lot of credit to my dad. I always say he taught me how to shoot a mid-range jump shot before a layup, so um, I got to give a lot of credit to him. But it's a shot I've shot my entire life. It's something that's set me apart and something I can use. So if I can't get all the way to the basket, it's that shot that keeps the defense honest because even though I don't shoot a three, they do have to be honest once I start playing off the bounce and get into my area. They have to commit, and that helps me be able to make plays and be efficient while I'm out there. Coach Must said that you guys had really hard practices on Monday and Tuesday. What were the points of emphasis? What are you guys working on? I think the biggest point of emphasis was defense for us. Uh, that was the most points any team has scored on us all year, and we take a lot of pride in our defense. So just getting back to the defensive t toughness, just the details of it, uh, getting our hands up, hands up and eyeballs, getting out on shooters, being tough on the dribble drive, things like that have been the point of emphasis for us. And then trying to be more efficient on offense, getting easier points in transition, uh, making the offense run more fluid, getting guys better looks, easier looks. You guys, obviously, that was your first loss of the year. How do you think you guys have bounced back? Uh, I think we're ready to bounce back. I think this is an opportunity to show what we're made of when adversity hits, because at some point, I think everybody out there was wondering when adversity hits, how we're going to react. See what that, and that's what makes a good team great is how you respond to adversity. So I think it's a huge opportunity, and all the guys are ready for it. It's a close to one advantage. They've already got one SEC uh, win on their belt. Um, but does that kind of get your all's attention? Like they do in the road. Um, for sure, uh, their record is great. They're like eight and two, I think. So, um, when a team like that is going into Vandy and was able to get the win, you know they're a threat to come in here and be able to play hard. And we don't want them to come in here any confident at the beginning of the game. So it's one of our points of emphasis to come out and play strong from the tip. How practice has been this week? Uh, practice has been hard, but that's. What we expected, that's what we wanted. You don't want to come in after a loss and have any type of easy practices or have the same type of practice that you had before. You want to be able to step it up, step up the intensity, step up the effort, and we did all the things we need to do this week. Who's Jamario Bell the green practice? I think he brings more vocal leadership. That's the biggest thing uh, that he brings. He brings that from the football team, be able to bring it out on the basketball court and have that extra voice, that extra toughness. It's, uh, really helps us, especially with the group of guys we have, being able to have another vocal leader is huge.